Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ikil Vijay, and today I'm going to tell you how exactly you need to import your wave tables into Serum and make it sound like exactly the way it should be. Now, if you're very sensitive about your sound, you know uh, putting the sound using these algorithms will make your sound even not not even close to your sound. So, uh, what I'm going to tell you here's a video for you to how to do that. So, here's some example. With some organic brass, uh, which was a sample, and even make them flexible, or use any kind of synthesizer, make it import a wobble and put it on wavetable position, and do other process over serum. And you know, there are tons of things that you can do with this. So, first thing first, what I'm gonna do is go through initial preset and then go to edit wave table over enter formula I'm going to type in F0 now here's the first trick why F0 because uh, it means you need to import a sound in note F and F0 and then uh, serum will convert the whole uh, wave table through dot uh, through different different notes and without changing sense okay now if you type in C0 you can see there will be one sense changing now this is very close and not even something that you can feel but uh, I want to make it perfect so F0 is the best one now I have this sound from Harmor and I want to import it <laughs> nothing special just a scratch it sound why it is a scratch the theory behind this is if you just uh, uh, I don't know how to do the how to say that uh, have you ever seen those uh, GTA videos uh, that have 4k realistic things like that back in days when those modes came out there was no graphic that can handle that uh, mode with 60 FPS in 4k so people started to capturing videos uh, with they had lagged something like 20 or 30 FPS or something like that. They started to uh, capturing the frame in a slow motion in games like 10 frames per second but 4 times or 6 times slower. So they start to capturing that in 4 times slower using trainers and then they go to video editor and, and four times speed it up four times so they start to fading out those lags so it was about back in days but today about this sound uh, this is the, the same theory that we're going to um, do over here because uh, the serum by itself can't define all those little samples so we're going to scratch the sound as much as possible now it, it doesn't even it, it just not mean that you need to use this over the sound since you need to put it over your samples and you know make them damp like F0 or minus F minus 1 or something like that uh, or, and scratch it as much as possible it will make it uh, even closer if you uh, scratch your sound so here's my sound and I, I exported it already uh, what I'm gonna do is just simply drag this and drop this now remember this sound is in F right now this one is F minus 1 and if in, if it can handle the F minus 2 I would do that but it's, it sounds shit well actually it sounds good but I've already explored it now uh, first thing first what I'm gonna do is go through the end now if there are any uh, repeated cyclic subs that happen it as you can see from this to this there's just a cycle they're the same right so it means there are phasing issue happening so if I hear my sound there is no crunchy between uh, click, click tickling between or uh, whatever those ticky sound between the wave table because we did uh, scratch the R sound except there are few um, phasing issues so what I'm gonna do is I can remove them manually by just selecting them like this and just keep the last one or uh, over here I can go just over the process and just normalize each grain gain it separately which means every frame will be normalized separately and then to go through process again and use one of these two fade edges 
X fade edge or uh, fade edges. Mostly I use this grid size fade edges. What is actually happening over here is every frame will be connected to the next one in zero degree. Now after that I'm going through the morphing all those frame uh, frames. Uh, you can use any kind of uh, uh, morph option algorithm but uh, sometimes uh, crossfade mostly for me crossfade works uh, but I'm going to try it out let's just hear our sound Once again we're still having phasing issues uh, crossfade works for me but right now over this it sounds like this we're still having some phase issues so I'm going to undo this and I've already make it import this uh, wave table so I know zero all phases works very well so I'm going to use this and now here's my sound as you can hear there's no clicking between them and it sounds perfectly and close uh, it's I think it's the closest one through the sound to our sound. Now you can do all the process that you want over this sound. For extra bonus thing, you can go through process and normalize again. All right. Now it doesn't even matter what kind of sounds you're going to use. You want to make a wobble, import a wobble into your serum or uh, sample. You need to scratch it as much as possible. Uh, if you made that uh, wobble, just uh, scratch the whole automation and whole sound note and make it in F note and go through over here and just type in F0 and do all your process. And after that, you can come up with some great stuff. Now, I guess you get the idea and. If you have any questions, just comment and leave a comment over this video. And I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you very soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.